Uh, so if I may, I, I have prepared an overview statement based on my work these many past weeks. And I want to just say that as a parent and as a patriot, I'm absolutely outraged by what we're allowing to happen to our children. Uh, this, I mean, humanity is judged on how you treat the weakest member uh, of, the, um, of the society. Uh, these children are not just kidnapped and in some cases bred by families as a cash crop. We have people in the United States of America that breed children in order to sell them. And when they are sold, they come without birth certificates, which means it's easier to kill them and have no one ask where they are. We're also importing children by the plane load. Again, children who have no documentation. And one of the most wonderful things that this court could achieve now that we've had Pizzagate, for example, which opened people's mind, is we could achieve a, an opening of the public mind and an absolute imperative from the public to governments, including the U.S. government, which I think is the center of gravity in, in so many ways. Now, it's my, not my working assumption, but uh, the, the working assumption yet to be proven that the totality of the children disappearing worldwide is toward 8 million people, toward 8 million children. In the United States of America, the acknowledged number, not counting the children being bred without birth certificates, not counting the children being imported without documentation, is between 600 and 800,000 a year. Now imagine Africa and East Asia and all these other locations. The other working assumption is how long do these children survive within this system? What I am hearing from the witnesses that I've talked to is two years. It may be longer, it may be four years, it may be six years, but by and large, these children are so abused. I mean, we're talking rapes by the hour and so forth, that they reach their expiration date uh, within two years. And then they're murdered with impunity, or they're ritually murdered if that's what they've been bred for. Pedophilia is how the deep state recruits and controls people. Uh, it is also the Achilles heel of the deep state. I believe that once the public realizes that the government is not protecting their children at a scale of vulnerability that we can articulate, then everything else about the government is called into question. For me, the center of gravity for change is the American public. Because if you can get the American public angry, we will stop supporting dictators overseas. We will close all of our military bases overseas. I am on record as a former CIA uh, operations officer is saying that our thousand bases overseas are not there for national defense. They're there to serve as lily pads for the smuggling of guns, gold, cash, drugs, and small children.